on the table. She's going to do Fran's Rescher she the is. whole rest of the day. She what? can't hit a model anymore. <laughs> oh, yes, she can. I watched Zoolander recently. No she amount of cuts, right? no amount of bruises, dirt under fingernails, or anything has ever stopped her from hand modeling in the past. <laughs> <laughs> If only the were ever from a night. We're live. <laughs> watching live. Probably on Facebook. Probably on YouTube as well, we hope. Exactly. This is Maybe. Guys Talk Knives Live with Jason Swags. Yes. And me, Andy. And me. And me. I'm going to do the horror show just Glover like this. made his appearance horror. again. Yes, awesome. every bit of it. I That's want terrifying. kudos. You want kudos for what? I set all these up. You know, we do it every time, Jason. But I did it this time. <laughs> and they're pretty. Thank you. You'll get a gold star later. I should. You even cleaned them off. I Kind sure. of. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, and if you're joining us on YouTube for the very first time, for a live, just, I mean, I'm glad you're here. That's awesome. Awesome. We like our YouTube folks. We're going to start pumping these out to both places every time we I like them. them. It's going to be nice. And eventually, maybe elsewhere. Yes. Live to everything. That's right. Your refrigerator will broadcast Guys Talk Knives. Yeah. <laughs> that would terrify me. Could you imagine? Like, you just woke up, go in there and grab your juice, and just, this is guys talking about. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, no, this is <laughs> not too early. early. Too early. Too early. I can't do it this early in the morning. We do have some business to take care of. We do. We do. Business. Business. We got business. some business. I'm, I'm a little itchy by my ear right here. I, know, right? I thought maybe you were giving me a signal. I wasn't I was sure what that was supposed to mean. It's a slide. The ear. Slide. <laughs> slide. <laughs> Get down. Get down. Uh, I'll just tell that story one day because my, my dad coached third base in my little league. It was pretty funny. I'll awesome. tell it right now. Go, for this say, go ahead. So my dad coaches third base for our little league team. Uh, I'm on first. John O'Cohen's on second. He's at third base making the calls. He's supposed to give us signals as to what to do, when to steal, when not to steal. Well, I played in Sequoia Hill. Sequoia Hill sits right on the lake, right? Sure. So it's a little chilly that evening. Our signal for slide is rub your arms like this. Or our signal for steal is rub your arms like that. So, <laughs> somewhere while we were on first and second, my dad got a little cold, and he just did this number, and he looks up, and there's Jono sliding right into third, and me sliding into second, safe as can be. Wow. Played it off like he called it on purpose. Oh, when <laughs> did he, he, when he finally, yeah. Because he told us all about it afterwards. Okay. I was wondering if it was one of, those, one of those things that lasted for several years. I know, yeah. We were like adults, and we went, oh, by the way. <laughs> I never called it the steal. I was just a little cold. But good job. Good job, um, son. Points of business. Last week we yes. gave away Annabelle, the waistline from Artisan. Terrifying waistline. Don Daly Annabelle's won. Annabelle coming home. Yes, Annabelle right. is coming home, and it's going to Don Daly. He won the uh, Artisan waistline, aka Annabelle, that we gave away on the live last week. And yesterday, when we were testing all this th stuff out, I did two quick lives that yep. we pumped out, and I offered one of these bad boys right here. Joey Mullins picked up a hat oh, very from good. us. Did that whole thing. Excellent. You did that like really muppety just then. I know. <laughs> good. It was the whole head shape, dude. Hey, in case you didn't know, we have a thousand dollar shopping spree out there that's up for grabs. A thousand dollar shopping spree. We almost broke stuff earlier in the week. <laughs> uh, we did. You almost broke yes, stuff earlier this week when we put that out at on Friday. Monday. Yes. Did we do it Monday? Monday. Gosh. No. Yesterday. Monday? No, we did it Friday. Totally Friday. Yes, we did. Oh, yeah, it was Friday. <laughs> Get it together. You let him set up six knives. I don't and know. He just <laughs> no, it was the, the 1776 sale that dropped Monday. Yeah. Okay, we'll yeah, talk yeah. about that in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So $1,000 shopping spree dropped, and all you need to do to get entered in that is go uh, to our homepage and hit the banner. Yeah. Uh, it takes you to a page to sign up. Remember, it's a weighted drawing, and that weighted drawing gives you more points for signing people up Signing yourself up for Facebook or sharing on Facebook for yes. YouTube. The coolest Look at thing the in the world, the way it's designed is we've made it very easy for you to share with your own individual code. When you click any mm -hmm. of the, the social media buttons, you can email it to your friends. You can use WhatsApp. 
even mm -hmm. to sign up for, which is a system that we don't use internally or, or anything, but you I was can like, do it yourself. I was like, Jason, do we have a WhatsApp number? I'm getting asked no. WhatsApp numbers. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to talk to you on it, Andy. It'll be okay. Probably. Um, and then, of course, you can you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, um, subscribe on YouTube, and get points for those things as well. Um, and those all give you different points. So they do give the you things more? we want you to do, which is follow us on Facebook and yeah. Twitter. I don't have and a YouTube. Twitter. What do you guys do on Twitter? Uh, we I make posts to Twitter every single yeah. day. I don't have Twitter. No, well, get Twitter. Then free. you can tweet. I'm sure people would follow you Look on Twitter, face. just like they follow you on Instagram. I'm telling you. Um, what am I gonna do? There's my tweet. You, there's these things called pictures. You, you can put them on Twitter. Yeah, as that's well. what I have for Instagram. Instagram is pictures. Well, you do you. We'll be all right. That's right. Gotcha. So, guys, a thousand dollar shopping spree is up for grabs. We do have three other prizes in that too. If you're not lucky enough really? to win the uh, prizes. oh big time prizes, that spider code drunken. I did not realize it was a four hundred dollar knife. Uh, bench made puko. Bench made puko and the ZT 55 BRZ. Yes. Three prizes. Some really so cool if you stuff. don't win the thousand dollars, you could win a. Um, Spider Coat Drunken, that's second prize. Yep. ZT 055 BRZ is his third prize. And fourth prize is a Benchmade Puko. Yes, indeed. And all of those Puko. are going to different people. So. Yeah. With some green Santa Prune handles. That's right. Some and OD be, green Santa Prune. That'll be picked next Monday, I think. OD uh, green? Yes. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, it's on, it's on the board. Yeah, you have up until so you have through. Through yeah. the coming weekend. Yeah. 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 There yeah. you go. That's a KB Army Green. That's great. She's lost it. We also, right now, have our second annual. Second annual? Did we do it last year? I think we did. Did we, we do a 1776 sale? That was really high. <laughs> we did. We, we've done it before. We're bringing it <laughs> back this year for 4th of July. We're doing a 1776 sale, uh -huh. meaning that we picked items, and their prices now on sale are $17.76. And how many items did we pick? 176. 176. <laughs> I didn't plan it. Really? No. It really came out to 176. Out I knew we had 26. more than 100. If you go to the website right now, smkw.com, and you click the banner that's on the homepage, yeah. you will find a whole category. Everything in that category is priced at $17.76. And there's all kind of stuff in there. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's some weird stuff in there. Mm -hmm. There's some fun stuff in there. There's some really fun stuff in there. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's kind of awesome. Weird stuff. Like, what? Look, the way I picked it, he picked things that he could get to 776 without getting fired. That's what it was. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. So I pulled out everything there, out of the website uh -huh. and I said, oh, if it's between this price and this price, I can probably make it 1776. <laughs> Here's the items. And then I started sorting through them and took out the stuff that was mapped and went, meh. Yeah. Here's the stuff. And then I looked at it and went, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Yeah. Hey, put it in there. Put it in there. No, it's, it's, it's a, a fun great sale. sale. Yeah. It is a fun sale. Is it one of those knives had like the butt on it? She's talking about the Amazon handmade oh, knives. It's like what? They Sorry. do have little butts. I don't, I don't, I don't think, think it's, it's a on little there. Butt it knife. Might be. Would you like one? Those were already low. They were lower than seventy. I'd have to raise the I think price. They were like ninety-nine or less. Well, all I know is we all need an Amazon butt knife. Anyway, <laughs> don't ask where you carry it. <laughs> It's a three for four sale. A three for four sale. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you have two tens for a five? That's right. Uh, <laughs> Thank goodness. you. Thank you. Yes, that, that was good. That was very good, right? I yes, know. That's that was exactly good. Right. Let's was jump really into good. these. Yes. In case you don't remember how we do this, we go through a set grouping of things, of different types of things each week, seven knives. We're going to show them to you once, talk all about them, and then at the end we will do a rundown. A, recap. a rundown. A recap. Bandersnatch. Woohoo! <laughs> have a hoot nanny. Hoot nanny. A hoot nanny. A hoe down. Whole lot of hoot, just a little bit of nanny. What's first? <laughs> What's first? That's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer joke. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, first up is the bargain of the week, which I love the fact that we have a case as the bargain of the week. Yes. And I, you are not wrong. And I, and I picked this for a couple different reasons. Number one, 4th it's, of July. Yes, 4th of July. Say. Yeah. That's right. America. America. Right here. I, and all joking aside, I love uh, the way that the Star Spangled turned out on the, the scales of these knives. Yeah, they're laser etched. Yeah. So not only is that 
colored. It is laser etched into a natural bone handle. Yeah, so you've got some 3D texture to all of those pieces on the on the handle scale. The other reason I picked this is because the other day somebody in uh, Jimmy Slash's group asked, what's a doctor's knife? I don't know what a doctor's knife is. Oh, that's a great question. Well, this is a doctor's yeah. knife. And they were traditionally used by? Doctors. Doctors. And that spatula blade was multi-purpose. Sure. You could use it to count pills, pills but it also was used as a tongue depressor. Sure. And then something I didn't know until you said it a few weeks ago that the or yeah you have a pill, pill smasher, smasher on the other end. Yeah, this is flattened on the end of this bolster so that you can smash pills. So it's a, it, this is one of my <coughs> favorite traditional patterns for that reason. It has so much mm -hmm. old timey technology to it. Uh, so this has true sharp surgical stainless steel blades, master blade embellishment. You have the USA of course on the master mm -hmm. blade, um, laser yes. embellishment on the natural bone handle brass pins and liners, nickel silver bolsters, a three inch spear point blade, and a spatula blade. The thickness is, uh, I, went, I went to the wrong place. Uh, 3.75 inches closed, made in the USA by Case. This was originally $96.99. Mm -hmm. It is on sale right now for $69.99. Yeah. That's so why about 30 bucks off. Yeah, that's why it's the Morgan Louis. For sure. That and it was star spangledy. Yeah, no, it was perfect. He's Great choice. Red Foreman. Star spangledy? No. It's what? like it's all nice in US and that's red form in my head. Oh. I can see that. No, that's, that's, it's that's a nice knife though. Yeah. I mean And yeah, if you don't know, if you watched the show last year for sure you heard this several times. The uh, doctor's knife was the out of the vaults pattern right. last year, like the Barlow is this year. Right. Uh, so I you I don't know how much longer you're gonna see that doctor's pattern being that's around. Feeling. Summertime. What would that be great for? Watermelon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, any kind of melon like that that you're cutting up? Yep. Melon. 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 It is a great little melon knife. Yeah. I like the way that feels. Yep. It's, it's not all like, it's not all even. It's got. You can feel the yeah. stars. You can feel the stripes. You can feel can you the feel star it? spangled banner. Man, if you make a song out of this, <laughs> I can feel the stripes. I can feel tonight. the stars and stripes in my wow. heart. This Fourth of July. Go all Lee Greenwood. Um, the lakes in Minnesota. Well, that was to good. The hills of no, I, I I love the way that turned out. I also like the fact that the the back scale is just a, a piece of natural bone, bone. almost yeah. undyed. To your I would imagine. Bone. <laughs> I would imagine that it's been bleached. Yes, but um, I just I, I I love that pattern. No, it's just right out of the animal. They just they might just be pulled it out there and slapped it on. That's, That's from an elk. <laughs> You should yes, that. question. Yes. Uh, first, I want a close-up of the back scale, and what's the price? Close-up oh. of the back So it was originally $96.99, so $97. Right now it is $70. Yeah, there's the back scale. And we've still there's got the front scale. a good many of these in stock, but once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Get your 4th of July knife right here. Yeah, that's great. Doctor's knife. This is just a really cool little thing. That's the uh, bargain of the week. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Next to the Let's something think about new. What, what we do with the watermelon with that? We saw the do what? No. <laughs> Last week we That's saw the big brother of this one on the live show. This is the Leatherman Free. No, this is the T4. This is the big one. Yeah. Okay, this is the one we saw last week. Wasn't it? Maybe. Maybe I don't know. But not on the live. So this is the T4. Uh, the Leatherman Free T4, this is the second grouping in the Leatherman Free series. Of course, right. the, the P2 and the P4 are the multi-tools that have been out uh, now for several months. Uh, have just been enormous yeah, sellers good. for Leatherman. Uh, this is the T-series. Um, they're kind of reminiscent of, a, of an old-school scout knife <laughs> to me. It's Did a you construction say scout or scalp? Scout. It makes a big difference there. What do you think I said? Scalp. Well, I mean, scalp you could scalp knife, somebody like, with it if you needed nice to. Here's the thing you need to know about these free tools. Uh, they are both the plier tools and this knife tool. They are all have the ability to open all of these tools one-handed, yes. close them basically one-handed, and they all lock up. And they so all this lock blade up. locks up. These are down. Blade locks up. Just a quick little push here, and you can move that back down if I can get my dexterity right. Yeah. Uh, there are tools on both sides, including a great pair of scissors. No we, kidding. Yeah, we did. You made your mustache out of the scissors yes. last week. Um, just, they all lock up. And, and there, there's a magnet in this that actually holds them closed, mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. Very, very cool. Got a pocket clip. So basically with this, you've got 420HC blade and tools. One hand operable, like Andy was talking about. Um, they lock. 
LSAT accessibility to all of the tools, 12 tools in all, magnetic closing, it's a 2.2 2 .2 inch blade, 3.6 inches closed, weighs a little bit over 4 ounces so it's not that bad. Um, I actually had this in my pocket all last Thursday, one of these, and I'll be honest, I couldn't tell it was there. It was great. And you've got tweezers. Yeah, I did not know. I have one less arm here now. No, it's nice. Yeah, love it. He's brand one less brand new now. from uh, Leatherman. Yeah, made in the USA, 60 bucks, which isn't bad at all. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, that was vicious. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's just a baby. Oh, come on. He's just a baby. I've never but seen no, a this, man turn into a little girl until you put tweezers at him. This free, <laughs> this free tool series from Leatherman is kind of astounding. It's a game changer for them. I think so, too. Um, um, they have more coming out this year. I think we're looking at September-ish. I -ish. think we're looking um, at September. There'll be some more in the free line, mm -hmm. and uh, that's all we can say. Yeah, and this is the <laughs> T4. T4 comes with a pocket clip. T2 does not, but yeah. you can get a pocket clip separately you can. that will go on the T2. Uh, much like the P4 didn't originally come with a pocket clip, you can get one for it now as well. Um, just a, a really cool series. What I think my favorite thing about all of these is the finish they have on the handles. Mm -hmm. Between the composite and the 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 metal, the aluminum on the hands, you just it's it feels great. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. That's the EDC of the week. Yep. No, that's no, something, something new. new. It could be an EDC for it's sure. Definitely an EDC. For yeah, sure. that's the something new uh, again. Brand new from Leatherman. Fantastic tool. EDC of the week. Yep. The big daddy. Oh. Yeah. So this is the Microtech SOCOM Auto. It scares me because it jumps so hard. It's got a hell of a spring. It does. Oh, let's get that down here yeah. before I rip my hand off. So uh, Microtech, goodness. Oh, yeah. All the way around. Um, almost a 4-inch M390 uh, Tanto blade with a stonewash finish. Push-button deployment lock. T6 aluminum handles. Um, grip, too, man. Which, for that big of a knife, it mm -hmm. doesn't weigh as much as I would think. It's a little bit over, it's like five and a half ounces. Um, but it, I would have expected that big of a beefy tool to weigh a lot more than that. Uh, tip, uh, tip down pocket clip with a lanyard hole, five and a quarter inches closed, 9.1 inches overall, made in the USA from Microtech, and it, it is a, a great out the side auto. Glass breaker. Yeah, glass breaker too. Right there, yeah. I did not notice that until just now. I uh, love the texture here's on the, the handles. Here's the thickness of that thing. The little, the little textured inserts, inserts, <laughs> inserts. The textured inserts, the textured uh, inserts on the handle are, are really, really. This sweet. is a full size EDC auto. Yes, indeed. Yes. Oh goodness. Did you just do sound effects? I kind of like this thumb ramp. <laughs> I like everything about that knife. Yeah, I kind of think my fingernail's kind of dirty. It is. <laughs> I guess it's been is outside. No hand modeling for you either, oh. Duchovny. God, elbowed her right in the face. That's for laughing at my finger. I'll drop you. <laughs> I'll drop you. Easy. Where you Andy one of those those little plexiglass gloves that Duchovny had on in Zoolander? <laughs> <laughs> for my hand modeling. Yep. Man, that's bad too. It's up under there. Y'all just talk about this Here knife for a second. He's gonna use Here, he's gonna he's use fine. the doctor's he's knife. Fine. Come on now, don't use a new one. I could get my toothpick out of my pocket. I really want to watch him just like cut his fingernail wide open. Yeah, that's that's in there. That ain't coming this. out. No, no. I love. Like, let me see your hand. I don't need the knife. <laughs> the SOCOM. We're doing nails now. What did you do? I dug something up in there. <laughs> <laughs> I dug something up in there. I love the amount of power uh -huh. this has in it. Right. I mean, you know that is deployed. That's what scares her about you it. When you close it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to put some oomph behind it. Oh yeah, it's got, a, it's got a serious spring in it's it. It's got a heck of a spring. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, ah! Yeah. It is, it is rare to us, jump out and cut something. Somebody asked us about the difference between that boker we had and this SOCOM as a question on one of these lives. It is, oh no, no, it was about the Kalashnikov. Yeah, the, the boker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's the difference. <laughs> If the boker was the same size mm -hmm. as this, it would feel the same way. Probably. That boker, the 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 mini Kalashnikov, the one I, yeah. I'll dig, right. is about yay big comparatively. Mm -hmm. So you don't have quite the same amount of power. I also this don't thing, think the uh, just, I also don't ah. think the blade was as thick. No, more no. Pocket <coughs> pocket clip orientation. 
Is it uh, right sided? Just righty. Yep. And it won't go tip up. No, and no. it's because of the push button deployment. You're going to yeah. find almost most of these push button deployed knives yeah. do not have the ability to go ambidextrous tip up, and that is because of where that sits and where the push button is located. But it is removable. Yeah. So uh, you can do over, check out those. Check out the thickness of the blade. Yeah. I mean that's just a big a big chunk of M thirty nine. I I really like that. M three ninety. Like how does the thing that's on the board where it's M390. like it's skinnier and bigger? Oh yeah, yeah, the swedging across the top for yeah. sure. Yeah. Serious piercing power on that. Price yeah. point was again uh, two seventy five. Oh yeah. Which okay two hundred seventy five bucks, but Microtech it's a Microtech. Auto. It's made in the USA. M three ninety steel. T6 aluminum in the handle. There's a lot of tech in that, uh -huh. and a glass breaker. And but come on, and it is the EDC of the week. Heck <laughs> yeah, it is. Boom. Though this one's Jason's favorite. I think it might be. You know, I did not try to match the next two knives, but they match almost perfectly. That's, That's kind of funny. New. So this is a relatively new Ooh, line. This is the first we time have. I've held this. I picked it, but I've not held it oh, just yeah. now. Wow. This is a relatively new line of knives we picked up. Um, this is Battle Horse Knives. Um, I really, really dig this what they're like doing. This is like a stretched out, long, sleek, serious version of your burden trout. It really, yeah, I for sure. I see it, but, but you see, don't, don't go talking about my knife. She has her own knife. <laughs> her life. So this is the Battle Horse Birch River, uh -huh. uh, 3.25 inch. AEBL stainless steel, full tank construction, brown natural brown micarta handle, which their micarta rocks. Oh, it's nice. Oh yeah. Oh man, uh, brown leather, really deep carry belt loop sheath, six point seven five inches overall. It only weighs about two ounces. Just the knife itself, three point six eight ounces with the sheath. Made in the USA. We have it in three different colors, which is true for a lot of the, the battle horse stuff. Um, Here's what I'm noticing as I'm holding it, and what was really the <laughs> Macarta handles. I mean, they are the showstopper here. This is yeah. so smooth across the top, perfectly rounded. Look at the taper from the beefy end here down to the blade end here. So it gives you a nice feel if you, in your hand. It feels solid inside your palm. It's totally smooth. There's not going to be a hot spot on that nope. at all. It again is one of those knives that tells you exactly mm. where it's supposed to right? sit in your hand. You feel it. This, is, this could be her. This could be her brother. <laughs> she was dissing it before, but now I wasn't a diss. I knew it was nice. Yeah, uh -huh. I was trying to be loyal, but she <laughs> may get a brother. I'm telling you, uh -huh. that's just. I have not picked up a battle horse that I wasn't almost instantly in love with. Keep it together over there. Don't you do a spit take? Don't you do it? I said what I said, and I meant it. I've not picked up a battle horse that I haven't fallen in love I'm with. I'm telling you, this thing is just... <laughs> Plus, I love what their booth. lines do you have to give to a battle horse? They're <laughs> <laughs> walking in the bar by the long face. Uh, <laughs> it feels so <coughs> just seamless. Yeah, completely it really seamless. is. Do you need a bridal suite? <laughs> Well done. <laughs> well we done. Horse no, that, oh, oh my gosh. God. Let's get on to the let's main steer point. This, let's steer this back in the right direction. <laughs> Harness this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Harness your dad jokes over oh, there. Oh my goodness. Um, love the sheath. <sighs> love everything about this knife. Battle Horse also has one of the most distinctive booths at Blade Show each year. Oh, yeah, right. It looks like the castle. Yes. Um, I just, yeah. And we're carrying a bunch of Battle Horse knives now. We are. Great all around. Camping, I think that's hunting, an EDC. whatever. That's I think an it EDC. is too. I, yeah. may, I might EDC that for this whole week and see what comes up. Do it. Really? I mean, because yeah. you never carry a fixed blade. No, as an EDC. I have never carried a fixed blade. It'd be interesting to know yeah. what you think because that's, belt. it's really small. Mm -hmm. It's not going to just slide out for no reason. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I like it. A E B L is. A E B L steel? Ooh, it's even got yeah. a 90 degree spine on it. AEBL still. I think. Uh, no, it's uh, a little I rounded. Don't think it no, does. it's rounded. Yeah. It's rounded. You're not going to be able to flint strike that one. Uh, but why would you need to? Exactly. Right. 
No, I, I dig it. Just carry a big lighter, you're all good. Ex- yeah. <laughs> Birch River from from Battle Horse, and uh, yeah, it's uh, 125 bucks. That's a good price. Real good price. Yeah, especially for the yeah. craftsmanship that went into Made that. Made in USA. Terrific. I like it. Fixed blade of the week. Yes, indeed. I like that you clarified it had to be a big lighter. Of course. You don't want to crack I mean, they slip me that money yeah. each month. Can't fl- say you flicked your nine nine. Your I mean, no name there's nothing, lighter from Walmart. It's there's totally nothing a wrong lighter. with yeah. talking about. Bic lighters. Sure. Bic lighters can light whatever you need to light when yes. you're on the run. Your Bic lighter can be found at. Are we broke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Then the thing comes out. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Next up, the pocket candy traditional, and I do think it's funny that these two knives match as closely as they do. <laughs> Look how close they match. I'm down here too. Yeah, look at that. They are dead on. I think we need to see a Battle Horse GEC collaboration. So that'll be her big brother and her. I'm little telling you, brother. a little, a small sheath on the front of this to drop that into. It'd be groovy oh, yeah, as it could be. It'd be awesome. So this is the Cripple Creek Jack, um, and you. Set it of the week. It's a jack because both blades are on the same end, correct? Right. right. I never can remember that, and it always you said that I was like, oh, I gotta remember. Yeah, that. a jackknife. If you think about like, okay, so like if you watch somebody do a jackknife as they dive, that's yes. where you touch your toes, feet go up and go under. Same thing. You've got gotcha. it. Jack. Okay. Yeah. So a jackknife, both knife blades mm-hmm. on the same end of the knife for a traditional knife. Uh, this is a, a great eastern cutlery pattern fourteen. Mm-hmm. And made by GEC. And made so. by GEC too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cripple Creek's always made by Great Eastern. Uh, 1095 carbon steel blades with half stops, natural canvas micarta handle with brass pins and liners, nickel silver bolsters with a Cripple Creek buffalo shield on the side. I knew that was going to be a buffalo. Uh, yep. Clip point and pin blade, of course, on this. Uh, three inch closed, 5.375 inches overall, made in the USA by Great Eastern Cutlery. Um, I like everything Great Eastern turns out. It's nice stuff. Good walk and talk. To throw yet another knife term in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just a, a good, solid, all-around traditional pocket knife. Um, that one's going to fall in your pocket really easy. Just, yeah. It's going to be right in there. Uh, you're not going to notice it with your keys and things. But As always with anything from GEC, they're, scare me. it's not a limited run. But it is no, a small but they only, batch. Yeah, they only make small batches. So, um, so you're not going to see everybody carrying this because of that that micarta handle, that canvas, and the the resin are going to pick up your you know the the oils and the and stuff from your hand the gunk, over time. The gunk from the your hand over time. The black speck that's under my yeah. nail. Yeah. It's so not under. It is in it, your nail. It is in my nail. Yeah. So that handle is going to change over time. You're going to get a little bit of patina on that chill. This is going to pick up character the more and more you use it, the more and more you carry and it. And we not only have it in this form, we have that Cripple Creek, I think, in three um, different knives. I'm almost positive. Uh, I have to check, but I'm pretty yeah, that, sure. Yeah, that right. pattern 14 comes in, in yeah. I think, natural bone and some other stuff. So look yeah. at the website. Look at smkw.com. Just type in Cripple Creek. But, man, if you, wanted, put in a if you wanted Micarta on a link. traditional pocket knife, I'm telling you, you are dead on right, man. If, if No, you, yeah. If you came up with some kind of little sheath thing, a magnet, a magnet, a magnet <laughs> doer, just slip that right in there. Yeah, that would be awesome. That's really really cool. Yes, I love GEC. EDC pocket candy, pocket candy traditional. Yeah, GEC fourteen Cripple Creek Jack. Yeah. I swear, I thought you said you love GEC. I was like, really? I just didn't beg you for that kind of person. Oh, maybe he might like GEC. We don't know who GEZ is, but I, fine. I know his name. I don't know his music. <laughs> I just, I he's hear my, he's yeah, my neighbor. Yeah, he's my neighbor. Hi, guys. <laughs> Pocket Candy Modern. <clears throat> What's the name of this one? This Jason? is... Pluthers. <laughs> Pluthers. Pluthers. Pluthers the knife. This is the Pletheros. Pretty good. Pletheros? Pletheros. I do it wrong every I did, time. I did it on purpose. From You've messed me up. That's why I did From Civivi, um, this is, uh, Civivi, of course, is, a, is the budget-friendly end of Wii oh. Knives. Um, I am really digging what they're doing with the Civivi line. Mm-hmm. Uh, so with this, uh, and it's, it's true with most Civivis, you're going to have some things that are all very, very similar. Number one, the price point on this is $75. Yep. It's from Wii. It's, it's a Wii brand. Mm-hmm. Um, D2 tool still on most of these. 3.45 inches uh, clip point blade, flipper opening with stainless steel ball bearings. You got the stainless steel ball bearings on almost all of the, the Civivis that I've messed with. 
uh, G10 and carbon fiber handles, which on this it, it's black G10 and black carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. Ambidextrous step up pocket clip, 4.4 inches closed, almost 8 inches overall, weighs a little bit more than 3 ounces. Um, this it is a feels great, really, really light. Look how deep that pocket clip is. Yeah, no, it's nice. Yeah. Got a really, yeah, really you, deep you pocket clip. You just basically see the tip, just the tip yeah. would be out. That, that, that single grind on mm -hmm. that blade, full grind on that blade, is tremendous. It goes all the way up. Yeah, so you can see it goes all the way up to yeah. there. Tabers all down. the way up. All the way up. <laughs> I like it. Can you do, use, use your baby thumb. Baby thumb. Baby thumb. I can't do it. Nope. Because no I'm not using my nail. I know you're not using it. I don't use my nail. I just can't get my thumb in there. Can I get your whole thumb? You just got to take the pad, push it through. So you're making a bubble with your thumb. Push it real good. Push it real good. <laughs> making a bubble with your thumb and you just keep pushing till it moves. Yep. Yeah, and now she's not going to be able to do it. Get a blister. On your thumb. She got it to move. From pushing <laughs> Will it go? Bit. Will it go? Did just a second ago. I know, I saw. Now the pressure is on. Now you've got to do it. I know, the same thing with the Akuchi. <laughs> <laughs> now, while she's trying to do this, we got a lot of Savimis online. Um, again, they are they are something new from we, and uh, I, I like them. I just want to watch her struggle until she does it. Hey, too. It's getting worse. It's getting... Oh, there we go. Once she held it down. She still had a two-handed. It's a two-handed one-hander. Look, my hands are getting sweaty, okay? It's a seven-shot six-shooter. <laughs> too much pressure. Too much pressure. Why? You did it, like, because you had your pinky over it that time. I put my pinky over you. That's weird. You're weird. You have a pinky over I'm done. <laughs> it has a flipper, so you don't have to do that. <laughs> did you not see me struggle with the flipper, too? I did. I try. I don't know what's going on. I'm not like my sweet spot finder. It's not. Tell me more video games. Build strength. You know, Just sitting just there doing these it. exercises. Exactly. Day, pushing things down. I I really like that though. I like the look, like the feel is very modern. Uh, it has a real organic feel to it. it. I think it is a very uh, pocket friendly modern knife from Savivian. When you do For find sure. that sweet spot, it does actually. Just and again, it's seventy five dollars. I feel like yes. I'm just going with my finger. It's just a really pretty knife. Yeah, really, really pretty. Not as pretty bucks. as what we're about to look at. No, it's I'm really kind of in love right. with this next thing. No, it's kind of crazy. I'm, this will be the first oh. time I've held it. So is it really? My first impression. Oh, that's exciting. Exciting. So this is the Battle Horse knives. Is it locked in now? It is. I have to unlock it. You have to unlock it. The Battle Horse knives tree frog. Those come all the way out. Yeah. There you go. So if you don't think a bushcraft knife can be a folding knife, you're wrong. You are wrong. God. That is a beefy knife. It's a beast, man. Tell them what it is. So this, the Battle Horse Tree Frog folder, is 3.5 inches of 01 tool steel, drop point blade with a Scandi grind, satin finish, OD green bead blasted micarta handle. That's a lot of information on that handle. Scandy grind. Scandy grind. Scandy. Um, that bead blast on the Micarta handle and the detail on that handle is what gives it that extra grip. You have dual pin locking system, a, a dual pin locking system on this for that's both right, open amazing. and closed. It, it's not going to move now. You've got no. two pins that go all the way through both handles and this super thick blade. Yeah. That's going to be a regular bushcrafting knife. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it might well be a fixed blade at this point. You know, it is a lanyard, so you can oh, yeah. hold that on your arm. And yep. Yeah, you lanyard hold with the lanyard. Like five inches closed, 8.5 inches overall, made in the USA. Um, it is a beast mm -hmm. of a knife. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not a slip joint. There's a really good <laughs> Dave Canterbury review of this knife, and he, he liked this knife. He was I, kind of shocked yeah. by it. Um, Here's the thing. Without the pins in, you are still using that. If you just need to open it and use it real quick, right. you're still using it against the direction that it closes. Yeah. So it's not going to close on your hands. Yeah. Dave um, Canterbury was a really nice guy. He taught me a ton of stuff. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, I'm super impressed by that. Yeah. And it folds up. Yeah. Easy. Opens up. Easy. There is no way to one hand this knife, nor should no. you. No. Hundred eighty dollars. Yeah, but you're getting some really neat technology in this knife. You're getting again a huge piece of steel 
two huge slabs of micarta. Mm -hmm. um, a and a locking blade that you can probably pound through. Yeah, well, just about anything. Yeah, you could you could baton. I think. Oh, with probably. That. I don't know that I would. But but with the two I pins might, going all the way through, I think I you might, could. Yeah. On lighter duty stuff. It's just, it's super nice. So you I can have it. a full size, basically fixed blade camp knife that folds down and goes in your pack or on your hip. And, and John and I were in looking your pocket, at it. if yeah. you get the cargo pants. John and I were looking at it earlier. Pants. Who doesn't love cargo pants? <laughs> you actually can have it around your hand so it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't even drop. Yeah. I, I really. It's like a little purse. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. Obviously. It's exactly what it's like. 180 bucks, um, and I, I don't know that I've seen anything this cool in a while. It's nice. Perfect camp knife, bushcrafting knife, going into the woods, whatever you need. Oh, I being like it. We get to say that each week. I haven't seen something this cool in a while. I know, and it, the funny thing is, is we're not even like making cool it up. Yeah. Did you catch that these have a bearing? They do. These little guys have a bearing in the. Um, in the actual pin, so it's going to lock through. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I like it. Again, there's a lot of there's a lot of technology. There's in there. a lot of thought I, I like put it. into a lot this of thought thing, and it, it feels great in your hand. Yeah, it kind of looks like a little frog as well. It does. A little tree frog. Well, that's why it's named that. Really? <laughs> well, dang damn it! I can't believe it. Here's what's funny. This is Battle Horse as well. Yeah. <laughs> they don't mind stepping out of the box. No, not at all. Not at all. That's a cool idea. Is that their first folder? I don't know. Do not know the know answer either. to that question. I, don't, I mean, I, most of what you see from cool. them is fixed blade. Most of what I look at from them, let's put it that way, uh -huh. is fixed blade. <laughs> oh, yeah. For um, sure. But I, I really... Just the girth, the thickness on this blade. Yeah. Nice, nice, the nice, monster. nice, nice. That's the tree frog again. 180 bucks, uh, and well worth it. I think that's a that could be one of the big, big pieces this year for a lot of people's... Hunting and camping frog. season. Oh, yeah, and that's coming up. Get it prepared is. in August, I'm going to say. Sure. Get prepared in August because hunting season will be upon you. Buy one of these. Yeah. That's just... Sooner rather than later. Yeah. Questions, nice. comments, thoughts. Concerns. Is Doc over there being a... He's being awesome as always. He's being awesome as always, Doc. Thank you. <laughs> we have any of the Chads in here? No, you know, I haven't seen a Chad. We haven't seen a Chad. There's a bunch of Chads. Poor Chad. Around. Different people out but there. But we have we have uh, Kevin Currington. Kevin Currington. Tons and tons of. Oh, your mic, yeah. so they can hear you. Yeah, yeah, they can hear me. Shane Hunt. Did you unmute here. yourself? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yes. 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 You did. <laughs> the voice of God says yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, and Michael we're and we're going on both places. Pretty good. Yeah, both had, places. Uh, <laughs> looks like we have about eighty people watching total. Nice. 80 people out I there guess. tuning in right. in the middle of a day on a Tuesday before the 4th of July. You know what I want with that? What? I want a sheath. You want a sheath? Not with that. I have was it open. the same thing. A but, belt sheath? Yeah, just some type of little pouch. I bet you you could go find you a sheath on, oh, that's pretty cool right there. Do you see what I just did? Yeah, I, I did. I looped that under there, and now it's going to get tight around my hand. Maybe. If I can get my hand say, in there. No, you're not getting your hand in there. Yeah, I can get my hand right there. But I could probably pull the pins out if I did that. Probably don't yeah, want to do that. Don't do that. <laughs> probably don't want to do that. Guys, we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. 25,000 products. 25,000 products <laughs> online. Products. Make sure you're subscribing and getting notifications on YouTube. Uh, we need to pump that up. Pump it up. That's what yeah. we want. We've got 103,000 people in the SMKW Army on Facebook. We need to expand that army into the YouTube realm, as well as the Instagram realm and all of that kind of thing. Um, I, I'm kind of wanting to do a rundown before we decide a giveaway. What do you think? Yeah, probably so. Yeah, because if we do the giveaway, we just start getting all these people just typing stuff. Let's do a rundown, yeah. and uh, we'll hit back through these. So, oh. Hit it. Hit it. Guys, First this, up, the bargain of the week. bargain of the week was the uh, Star Spangled uh, Doctor's Knife. Oh, this see is from Case True Sharp Blades see. on this thing. Natural bone handle with laser embellishment stars and stripes on that. Nickel silver bolsters. You've got two blades here. You've got a spatula blade and a spear point blade right there on this bad boy. It was 92 something? Uh, 97. 97 something. And we've got it on sale. That's why it's the bargain of the week at 69 something or just 69. 70 bucks. 70 bucks. 70 bucks. Nice on this thing. Nice walk and talk. 
The um, something new is the T4. This is that one-hander tool from Leatherman. Guys, this thing, uh, all the tools lock up. There are 14 or 12? 12. 12 tools all in all? On and this? on this one, there are 12. 12 on the tools in all, including eight. some tweezers, lots of good things you can get to in the handle. Go check this out if you haven't already. This is basically a Leatherman multi-tool that has no pliers. Yeah. It just is kind of awesome. What's price point, Jason? To me, it's a Leatherman Scout knife. I'm telling you. That's what it is. It Leatherman really is. Scout Leatherman knife. Scout? <laughs> it's uh, 60 bucks. 60 bucks on that. EDC of the week is the SOCOM oh. from Microtech. That one freaks SOCOM me out. Elite Auto. Super powerful on this thing. M390 blade. Chunk of blade right there with the stone wash finish. Tanto tip. Out the side, auto push button deployed and locked up with that same push button. You've got aluminum handles with a nice textured inlay. Uh, tip down pocket clip, not ambidextrous, just on one side, guys. Glass breaker tip and the lanyard. How much, Jason? 275. 275. This thing Feels is so nice. kind of yeah. awesome on this. Oh, let me show you the action one more time because it <laughs> wants to just jump. It does. It does. Mm. That knife wants time. to open. <clears throat> Really? And open Amazon I boxes. Ready. I think. Ready? I, I feel want like somebody to that buy that. That one sounds like a punch. You know what I'm saying? Comic yeah, book it does. punch. <laughs> I want somebody to buy that next time they go into like Burger King, McDonald's, use it to cut the burger in half. Just, just flick it out. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I, I am often using my knives for that. People always look at me weird. I always cut my sandwich in half. Wow. Maybe because you're cutting your sandwich in half. It makes it better. Like that first bite's gonna be like full, not like, oh, I'm getting the side of the sandwich. I like to just cut random stranger sandwiches in half. <laughs> <laughs> that one's frowned upon. If you it is frowned days, upon, but if you do like it with this half. knife, they don't say a whole lot. <laughs> They're gonna say anything. Just walk over. Can you imagine that? Some little kid's nugget they're reaching for, and you're like, no. So <laughs> like, <laughs> and just How look at the little kid it? nuggets cost, because I want some of them. <laughs> and just look at the parents the whole time. Say, like, you don't need that boot one anymore. The boot one. <laughs> I, I know exactly McDonald's. what you were saying. Yes, that's right. That right. is the, the McDonald's boot oh. nugget. That is what the... What part uh, of the chicken does that come from? <laughs> the boot. The boot. The chicken boot. <laughs> that's a like, good thing we're not Canadian, it's Canadian, eh? Canadian, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I'm all about the boot. The boot, the boot. <laughs> The chicken boot. That almost jumped out of my hand right there. That's the EDC of the yes, week. so called. From Microtech. Fixed blade of the week. From... Battle horse knives. The Birch this River might actually be my favorite thing on the table, uh, yeah. and I might carry it for yeah. a week just to see how it goes. I think you all too. Um, this thing, I don't remember the blades. Oh yeah, I do. AEBL. Very good. AEBL yes. steel with the satin finish. The smooth Micarta handles that are just perfect on this thing. Canvas Micarta brass pins, uh, lanyard tube as well on this thing comes with this fancy traditional sh a leather sheath. Um, Jason price point 125 125 and on we do have that in three colors total three so that colors on more. this one right there and I'm sure you guys saw a link that shows all those. What you want. that's the fixed blade they've got yeah, green, green and, and black, black. Yeah. and the the battle horse knives they're they're black is really really right. cool very thorough and Jason knows it's because he has black. not met a battle horse that he has not picked Tell up and fallen you. in love with yet love me some battle horse <laughs> Cripple Creek <laughs> GEC pattern 14 Cripple Creek Jack this little bad boy has 1095 carbon steel blades, satin finish on them, half stops, long nail strike or nail pull on this one, the straight pull, and the nail nick on the other blade, which is a little pin blade that I'm not going to pull out. You have nickel silver bolsters and the buffalo shield with the natural canvas McCartney handles that match this almost perfectly. It's a beautiful set. I think you should buy them both. Price point on this GEC made Cripple Creek. 120. 120. That's a heck of a knife right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. That's a heck of a knife. 120. Next up, the Civivi. Boo! Let's try it again. Here we go. Next up, the Civivi <laughs> Plethoros. Put more finger in it. There you go. D2. <laughs> Less wrist. D2. Right. That's right. D2 tool steel <laughs> blade with the satin finish. You've got G10 handles with the carbon overlay. Uh, tip up ambidextrous pocket clip on this thing that's really deep. I like it. It's got steel bearings inside of it. Civivi is made by We, and we just cannot go wrong with Civivi. Love it. I knew you were getting there. Love it. I didn't know what your route was going to be. 
<laughs> but that was I good. felt like I was doing the uh, Price is Right where they do the showdown it or was the, good, yeah. the showcase. Showdown. That's a totally different Price is Right. It's a showdown showcase. It's a showcase showdown. Showcase showdown, yes. yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're watching you, so you're not going to be able to. <laughs> no, 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 keep Three watching. times in a row. Three times in a row. This will be four. Oh. Nice. Yay. Yay. Now Baby can you stage thumbs. it and do it. <laughs> oh, oh, you go back this way. Oh, nope, nope, nope. There I was you go. right. Sorry. Tad Jimmit. Tad Jimmit. One of her muscles. Oh, oh right yes. She's done it. In the Yay. rundown. That's the Plotheros from Civivi. Price point. Uh, 75. 75. And last but not least, the folding bushcraft knife from Battle Horse Knives. <laughs> the Battle Horse Tree Frog. This thing. You said that's almost a quarter of an inch thick, yeah? yeah it is. So we'll go down here. This is a folding knife. It has a double pin uh, set up so that you can put two pins right through the handle. They go all the way through. It will lock it open or close, but this is a heck strong, just crazy. Heck strong heck knife. Heck strong <laughs> knife. I was going to say hella strong, but I didn't like it. sounded bad when it was coming out of my mouth. Hella strong. And it's not a hella, so we can't make the hella jokes. This yeah. is uh, Macarta? Yeah. yeah. Macarta? And it looks like a little uh, tree frog. It's really, really nice. I like this knife a lot. Jason bead, wants a sheath. Bead blast finish. Oh, bead man. blast. It's pretty. It's a nice candy grind. Give me a little pouch to wear on my neck and just put the tree frog in it. And get an actual Great tree frog to sit on the outside. That's right. If we I'm could get a one. tree frog to actually wield this knife, that would be great. <laughs> That's it's how like big that. that tree frog would have to be. I know, it would be scary, especially yeah. with this knife. It'd be a giant right. tree But frog. no, these pins pop right out. Ding. Ding. And it is a faux duck. Very, very cool. Nice. So, guys, if you had to pick one on the table, which one would you be? Which one would be you? Which one would you be? Ready? Ready? On three. One, two, three. Oh, are you going there? No. Oh, I was going here. Oh, wow. Two battle horse knives. <laughs> Jason's just going to keep grabbing them. I'm going to take a battle. I, I like this one. I just really do. Birch yeah. River from Battle Horse. I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> And Melina M grabs Maria, the Leatherman. Melina grabbed the Leatherman off the table. I there's just <laughs> something about this that I really, really like. Um, I, they're, it's a very unique use of uh, mm -hmm. very simple technology. Oh yeah, I, I like I love it. Yeah. Though I'll be honest, and we hope you are every time you talk. Not really. No, go ahead and lie. No, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> um, I, I, there's nothing on the table that I don't that I wouldn't. That I would that I wouldn't not carry. <laughs> wow. There's another table that I would that I would that there's. Jeez. Words. You I would words. carry all the knives on the table. That's the nice. way I'm going to go with that sentence now. <laughs> Better. An aneurysm. <laughs> oh. He's having a little stroke. <laughs> Just remember the fast method. Facebook it. Ask your friends. <laughs> Say, tell me if I'm having a stroke. Look at my face. <laughs> Am I all right? <laughs> so we do have to do a giveaway. Wow. We do have to do a giveaway. So this is going to help me with this giveaway. Here's okay. what's going to happen. I'm going to give away this Battle Horse Birch Cool. Over, but I'm going to carry it all week. Oh, there we'll you go. give it away next week. So it's going to be slightly used. It's going to go yes, on my hip. You're going to have watermelon used. juice on it. You might have hot dogs and hamburger patty juice from 4th of July. God. No watermelon because I can't stand watermelon. Watermelon Neither. is from the devil. It's nasty. I don't hate Watermelon's it. I just amazing. don't like the seeds. It's nasty. Watermelon is disgusting. All kinds of melon are disgusting. You're, you're from wrong. cucumber all the way to honeydew. I'm sorry. You're completely incorrect. I'm going to need you to scoot <laughs> on over there. <laughs> Agree. We're going to give this away. We have to come up with something amazing. fun for them to do. What? Um. Tell us about the horse How about you this? picked up. How about this? Since it's a Who USA made. Since it's USA made. And it is Fourth of July. We want you to write the name of a founding father. No, no, no we have to be specific. Okay. You have to write hashtag Martin. SMKW Army and the name of the first founding father to sign the Declaration, the of, Declaration. of Independence. Wow. The first signature, like on the left at the top. Yes. The very first one. The That's very first one. They're gonna have to go look that up. Yes, People are they are. Cheat immediately. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> you already have the right answer in there yet? Oh, heavens no. No. They're not, oh, they're, heavens their Google no. fingers don't work that fast. They're still drooling over this Birch River from, from uh, Battle Horse. So, you're giving away the Battle Horse? I am giving away the Battle Horse. I mean, hashtag Marka. But what about? Oh, what about this? Yeah. You want me to give that one away yeah. too? 
I thought that was more I like that idea. Did you think I was already giving this one away? I thought sort of thought, yeah. I might have said that. Yeah, you did. Let's give away both. Okay, that's fine. So this one, first person to sign the declaration. Oh, it's going to have to be both. It's too hard to sort them. There are too many. So Beautiful. we'll draw two out of that. First founding father to sign the Declaration of Independence, hashtag SMKW Army. I already had a question for this one, though. Well, I'm sorry. You can ask your question. It won't pertain to the giveaway, but well, you I'll can. I'll save it for later. <laughs> I'll save it for next month's giveaway. Give away this one, and we'll give away this battle horse. Yeah. I like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anything else? Did Any you? questions, comments? Anybody want to see anything again? Anything no, fun? Yeah. I think and you stepped on the lead. What's that? All these were made in the USA, too. No, they're not. Uh-uh. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Savivi is most definitely not. Oh, they're the only one that isn't, isn't it? Yep. Yep. God, you messed up. No, I didn't. You should have made them all made in the USA. Sometimes you were so close. we just have to have a comparative model. You on were the so table. close, though. Yes. Though I tell you what, we are the world. There's nothing wrong with the action. <laughs> we are the I thought they all were. I was like, oh, that's we cool. We are the ones who make a brighter day. Sorry, I get a little. We are the world. There. It was good. I have a hard time with that now, though, after watching the Michael Jackson documentary. <sighs> Let's not go there. Anything he was involved in. Guys, Peter we were Riddell's brought Dropping all the, Mi- the Michael Jackson. Oh, goodness. Songs from his we show. We are at the end of the show, and I'm going to battle horse you to death. Okay? <laughs> I like to give you pop culture elements. I know you. And our audience has pop culture elements. They can take out Guys, thanks life. for watching. We are brought to you by <laughs> Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com. Make sure you follow the instructions to win this. Wait. What? We need to out him. What he did not. Oh, they did. Ask. Oh, they, they did. And they did ask what's what's in, what are you, what are you oh, carrying? Oh, what are we carrying today? today? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Poor <laughs> shameful Jason does not have a knife on him today. I not moved one. them. Meanwhile, I moved them. I have another case that matches my case. Oh, so you have the uh, blue lives, or the blue stripe? I don't remember blue what line. called that. Blue line. Yeah. Line trapper. Yeah, that's a. Tra- that's, that's, a, that's, a hey, ha, that's a copper lock. That is not that's a, a copper trapper. lock. Yeah. He called Maury that. was wrong. He can't remember things. Put it down some. Down, 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 down. Down where? Down. I can't. I can't see him that way. See that's, that? So Swags has the uh, trapper lock in her pocket. Yep. Close that up. It's dangerous. You're dangerous. I, I like that copper um, lock. What do I have today? Yeah, what do you have? Let's go small first. I'm carrying two these days. On I purpose. like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I need two of the ones in my purse. Where did it go? It's in there somewhere. That's that's the yeah, thing with those. You had to dig in there and get it. I have a that's small cute. toothpick. Oh, very cool. Rough Rider. Yeah. That's the black cherry bone. With the giant hair on it. You get that? That's a cat that's hair. With the giant hair on it. <laughs> that is a cat hair from my pocket. Oh. That's the black cherry bone. It has the black liners under it. That's from Rough Rider. Pocket. Anyone that You've has not, cats knows that life. These have half stops and everything. You've not held one of these before. Yeah. That's We were talking about how cute they are. When Malt with Maureen, the two yeah. picks are, are cute that way. And It looks like an actual chili pepper. It kind of does. Because I have my chili pepper in there. <laughs> right. She pointed at me and said chili pepper. No, I'm talking chili about pepper. her stuff oh. there. Sweet. I've got the Re8 in my pocket. That's nice. Yes, I don't remember which model this is. It's M390. Um, I can't remember. Titanium handles. I love this. Yeah. I forget that I have this knife, and I saw it gleam from me from the knife drawer, and I was like, "Ooh, show day! This is going in my pocket." No, I moved my knives around in the office, and they're on a shelf now. And walked right out. Have you out not made a re- Have you not made Re8 work? I'm telling you. Yeah, they're. Yeah. yeah, you don't even have to try. Nope. Yeah. Nope. The action on them is amazing. Oh, I have a question for the audience. Yes. Do we still have people in the audience? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I want Andy to design a shirt that says, more finger, less wrist. Uh-huh. Everybody hashtag <laughs> more finger. And if we get enough, he's going to design the shirt. Okay. More finger, less wrist. Yep. I think, do we have to credit Kid Onion with that? I think you do. Sure. <laughs> I think he's probably said that a few times in his life. But just quote, more finger, less exactly. rest, Kid yeah. Onion. Kid Onion. Hmm. Yeah. That's my re We'll have his big old smile at the bottom. That man has like the widest, straightest smile I've he ever. Does. Like he, he does. and Andy Griffith are really like tied, tied on that one. That's ridiculous. That may be the first time that Ken Onion and, and, and Andy, Andy Griffith, Griffith have been, been tied together. Yeah. Mentioned in the first, in the friend. That's good Hawaiian sentence. living is what it is. It is. It is. Any other questions, comments, now that they've seen? 
th there's a lot of that's what she said. And th they're still going on. And I'm sure there is. Yeah, it's 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 fun. That it's was my Fourth thing. of July gift to them. Yeah, it's, yes. <laughs> it's, it's been. That was among the second funniest thing that Ken said to us that we cannot steal the other funny thing. No, no. We he we said cannot. quite a few funny. He things. He said a lot of funny things, but that was the second funniest was to Jason. More finger, less wrist. Less wrist. You should that's need to right. tell everybody the story. Guys, we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. We're going to wrap this up and get out of here. For sure. We want you to have a very safe and happy 4th of July. No Make doubt. sure that if you're holding the Bacara bottle rocket in your hand that you actually let it go as it starts. Yes. Or that video, way you, you only know. blow off the first two fingers rather than all four Don't fingers. Don't throw bottle rockets. No. It is a bad idea. They're going to hit somebody. You hold it lightly, <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> you were going to let launch into the sky. Do not blow your fingers off. It's hard to open your knives without them. Play safe with your fireworks. Have a great 4th of July. Fourth of a July. Fourth of a July. And enjoy some watermelon. No, watermelon's nasty. Really? John and Bethany are in the back running the boards. Wave John to Bethany. them. Yeah, they're all back there. We have, of course, Melina has been hosting you online Melina. and talking to you through the comments. Jason is here. Nathan and Swags right here in the center poking me in the <laughs> Nathan gut. Nathan and Swags. Nathan and Swags. It's a dual personality. Yeah, kind of let's thing. call that split personality. I'm Andy, you guys. Join us each week for these. We have a taped episode as well as a live episode. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and click ringing that bell so that yep. you get your notifications ring, as ding, they ding. come out. We'll be back next week with another episode of Guys Talk Knives Live. See ya! Bye. Ribbit, ribbit.